If you're trying to align or connect with your guides and you've been struggling and haven't been able to at least perceive that connection, this video is definitely for you. There's an important first step that you need to take when trying to just connect with your higher self, connect with your spirit guides, your ET guides, the angels, whatever that looks like for you, it's important that you take that first step. You need to do it with awareness and you need to do it consciously. What's happening most of the time is we're being distracted by things in our reality and our mind is perceiving situations and perceiving problems that cause us to overthink. So a lot of our energy is going off into the mind and it's just you're in this circular loop that you can't escape. Okay, so you may be sitting there thinking, why can't I connect with my guides? I haven't been able to feel that connection. I can't hear my guides. There's other people out there that are having these kinds of experiences. There must be something wrong with me or maybe it's just not in the cards. So again, these are thoughts. If you're entertaining these thoughts, what's happening is your energy is flowing again into the mind and it's overthinking and it's creating stress and it's creating anxiety. You have some idea of being able or wanting to be able to connect with your guides, but you're not seeing any results. You're not experiencing any results. And that just makes the situation worse. That keeps you at a lower frequency. Now that's the key right there. Your guides are there. They're always with you. They're always around. In fact, they're aspects of you, okay? You're always connected to your guides. But when we're down in a lower frequency, we can't perceive where our guides are coming from. And I don't mean where as in a physical reality, but where on a frequency scale. So they're up here, right? They're up here. So the more we look and think, why can't I? I can't. This isn't happening for me. You're keeping yourself at a low vibration. You are in a frequency of lack. So you're experiencing more lack. And that lack is really making you feel cut off or separate. So you have the power within you to take that very important first step. In fact, this first step is critical. It's crucial for you to be able to start to open up that connection really ground that connection and start to be able to perceive these frequencies that are residing up here, which are outside of the narrow bandwidth that you're focusing in right now. Okay, so the first step to doing that is to really start to align with some of these higher frequencies. Now, you could really take connecting with your guide as an objective and kind of put that aside, right? That's a result, put it aside. That's an expectation that you have And again, the mind goes off on a tangent and tries to create some sort of situation that will get you to the end result so you can fulfill that expectation. So a lot of energy goes into that. So you want to just, let's just put that aside. Let's not even think about connecting with our guides at this point in time. Let's just think about aligning with higher frequency energy. Because if you could start to align, and what I mean by aligning with higher frequency energy is starting to experience it, starting to feel it. And I know you may be thinking right right now, Mark, I'm feeling disconnected. Maybe I don't have a lot of money. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm trapped in life. I can't uncover my purpose. How am I going to step into these higher frequencies? And I'm going to explain. Now, I would bet that you have something in your life right now that you can feel grateful for, right? It could be as simple as waking up in the morning, taking that breath, just feeling and experiencing life. You could look outside, you could go out into nature and you could experience wildlife. You could experience the birds. You could experience nature. You could feel grateful for being able to share that experience with other living beings on this planet. That's one example. Maybe you have a roof over your head. That's another example. Maybe you have a few dollars in the bank. Yeah, you may not have as much as you want, but You have the ability to get through the day. You're not starving. You have food on the table, okay? That's something to be grateful for. If you're not working, maybe right now you have an abundance of time on your hands, right? I found myself in that situation when I left my career. I had an abundance of time on my hands. Abundance, that's a higher frequency. Gratitude, a higher frequency. Love, self-love. Can you connect with your heart? 
Can you feel that love? Can you take that breath in and just connect deeply on a new level and feel and experience the love that you are? Because it is love that is manifesting all of this that is the ultimate frequency. If you can look at your children, if you can look at your partner, your spouse, and connect with love that allows you to feel and experience that emotion. Remember, connecting with these elevated frequencies, these elevated emotional states, we need to feel them. We need to become them, meaning we need to sit with them and breathe with them and feel it and move that energy throughout our body. When you do that, you shift. You shift on an emotional level. You shift on a physical level. You leave the energy that was going out here and you bring it back in here. Okay, so you become more anchored, you become more grounded, you become more centered. Okay, and when you become more centered, you become more aligned. Your frequency goes up, your body's frequency goes up. You start to feel the tension move away. You've left behind these frequencies of lack, frequency of just not having enough, not having that connection, not having time, not having money. Whatever, whatever that looks like for you, you've left that behind and you have shifted by trusting you're experiencing things now that align with higher frequency, elevated emotional states, okay? So everything is rising. Remember, you started down out here, I'm separate, I'm disconnected, and now you're up here. You're connecting with yourself, okay? And you're doing it through these elevated emotional states. You can find something in your reality that will allow you to experience these states. And you know what? Maybe you're having a hard time doing that that's where you can utilize your imagination. I've done videos on that before. How your imagination can bring in a picture. You could paint a picture in very vivid detail of maybe what you, life, you want your life to be in the future. Paint it. Color it. Feel it. Smell it. Taste it. Touch it. In your imagination, make it as real as you can. And forget that that's something that you want to happen in the future. Feel it as though it is happening now. Feel the abundance, feel the love, feel the peace, feel the joy, feel the gratitude. Okay, so using your imagination can get you there too. Here's another thing, memories. Memories are a great way to elevate your frequency, to raise your vibration, to get you feeling these elevated states. Was there a point in your life when maybe it was a vacation, maybe it was when your children were born, maybe when you got married, if you're married, Whatever it is for you, could have been an experience in, in school, in college, maybe something amazing at work, you got a promotion, whatever it was that made you feel grateful, joy, love, worthy, confident. Utilize those memories and experience that as though it's happening now. For me, music takes me back and elevates my frequency. When I started to open up and connected with the galactics, music led the way. It allowed me to rise. It allowed me to open up to everything that was previously unseen, unexperienced. And I started to move that energy through me. I became that energy. And all those experiences started to open up. So there's no magic pill. There's no formula that you need to really learn for this. There's nothing complicated about it. Right? And you're probably thinking, yeah, but you wanted to tell me how to connect with my guides and why I can't. Well, that is the all important first step. When you detach from that expectation, you get present, you get centered, you start to experience these elevated states. What happens is you start to rise up into the frequencies, your consciousness expands, your awareness opens up, you start to be able to perceive, you become available for what's been up here the whole time because you're rising up into it. Now, along the way, as you connect with these elevated frequencies, you may have some releases of dense energy and that's okay. Don't back down from that. Allow yourself to feel that and in the midst of these dense emotions, reconnect with love, reconnect with joy, reconnect with gratitude. Use those images, use your family, use your pets, Use music, use nature, whatever works for you. Know that these dense energies are going to rise up, but you have the choice. You have the power to reconnect with these higher 
frequency emotional states. That's how we alchemize the density. We reconnect with love, we reconnect with joy, we reconnect with gratitude, even though we're feeling the heaviness of the density. The reason that density is there is because sometime in your past, you have made a choice to not feel it. You didn't process it. Now that love is coming forward, these dense emotions are coming forward, and you can bring them right into love. That frees space within your body. That brings energy back in, and it starts to move faster. Faster moving out energy, elevated frequency, okay? So don't run from the density. Feel it. What you're going to notice is that you're going to become more present, more peaceful, more centered. The energy that was going off into your mind is going to start reverting back to the body, so your mind's going to really quiet down. You're going to become bigger, bigger state of presence, expanded consciousness. The ego is going to kind of drift off into the background, right? So you're going to be available for all that is residing up here, and they're going to start to come through as little whispers, little nudges, synchronicities, right? Messages. Maybe you're going to see something on a billboard. You're going to hear something in a song. You're going to be like, wow, divine timing. You're seeing license plates, numbers on the clock, whatever it is. So many different ways these messages could come. Maybe you're, you're just looking up at the sky one night and you see what looks like a satellite, but all of a sudden you feel something in your heart and the satellite changes direction. Maybe it gives you a little bit of a flash. Okay, that's how this all starts. It all starts to come through like that. And you know what? It happens when you're not specifically looking for it. You just need to be present and aware of what's happening around you and what's happening inside of you. If you could take that all-important critical step in getting present and making that choice to raise into these higher frequency bandwidths, these higher frequency dimensional fields, reality is going to shift. Your guides, your higher self, that is going to open up as just a byproduct of raising your frequency into these elevated dimension, higher dimensional fields. It happened for me. I've seen it happen for others. That's what we do. We detach from the expectation, we detach from lack, we detach from separation, and we make a choice to feel something greater. That is allowing you to ground and anchor your higher self and your reality will then begin to reflect the energy of those higher frequencies. If you're feeling like you're really stuck and you want to take a step in this direction, you just don't know how to move forward, maybe you've tried many things and you find yourself back in that same loop, it just doesn't work, schedule a 15-minute discovery call with me, and I'll share with you how I can help you and guide you to break out of those patterns that keep you living the same day over and over and over again and help you to anchor joy, anchor happiness, Anchor confidence, fulfillment, and help you discover your purpose. That link is in the description, so schedule that today. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you so much.